We are now in Unit 9, Developing a Brand Name. Our lesson today is Branding and Branding Mechanisms. We have our objectives here. First, understand the concept of branding as a strategy. Second, identify different types of brand names. The last one, create a brand name, logo, symbol, and slogan for the proposed business. So that, so that is our objectives to, our, to this lesson. What is branding? Branding is the process of creating a name, symbol, or design that identifies and differentiates a product from other products. So, ang branding daw kay kitagamit siya para ma-differentiate ang isa ka product sa uban na product para po ma-identify sa isa ka consumer na maudit dito siya na product. Kay kitagamit ang branding ang gamitan og name, symbol, or design kay para malhan ang isa ka product na mauto siya. Branding company creates a name, symbol, or design that is easily to identify. This helps to identify a product and distinguish it from other products and services. Brand names are used as a marketing tool towards establishing consumer awareness and fostering brand loyalty. So, ang brand names, mag basta itong gayingon, kay, mo ni ang nag-differentiate ni sa iyong product sa lahat na product. Ginagamit po ni ang brand names as a marketing marketing tool. We have four features of branding. First is awareness. Brand awareness refers to the number of people who know the brand. It is the extent to which a consumer can correctly identify your brand based on visual indicators such as logos and colors. Example of brand awareness is Dunkin Donut. Sa high pa, di bang color sa Dunkin Donut is pink and orange. Ang katugon sa letter, itong letters, letters sa Dunkin Donut. Pag makitaan to sa isang consumer na ang color is pink and orange, ma-identify din to nila na sa to na product which is Dunkin Donut. Brand awareness refers to people's ability to recall and recognize your business. So, ang mga ang kaning brand awareness is kaning ma-recognize na nila ang imong sa imong business. Ma-aware din sila ba na katuloy na to the imong business. Next is targetable. The branding of products should be planned in relation to the target market. In targeting a market, the company identifies the char characteristics of the consumer who would be interested in their product. Ang kaning targetable, dapat ang itarget ni mo ani kay katong mga cons consumer na interested sa mo product. Dili kay ka nang mo target ka na tanan whole population na imong itarget. Dapat kung kinsa ratoy kay dili biya, dili biya pares parehas of taste ang isa ka tao, di ba? So dapat kung kinsa ratoy ang interested sa imong product, mura tang imong itarget sa isa ka country or isa ka nation ang imong itarget. Our next next is loyalty. Can, loyalty can be built by staying in touch with customers and knowing how the products benefit them. Brand loyalty is when a customer continues to purchase from your company, not because you're the only option, but because they trust your company. So, ma-build po daw ang isa ka loyalty sa isa ka, isa ka customer ka ng knowing na ang say benefit nila ato o natagaan ninyo siya o pagtagad ba yung isa ka customer. And then, Usahay ka na example ana oh, ang isa ka customer bakay sige nagbalik balik og nagbalik og palit sa inyong na company ano ana ang ano na ana ang pasabot na ana sa customer is kanang na gain ang yung trust sa isa ka sa isa ka customer kahit ngod dili ra ikaw ang only option pero kay na gain na nimong trust sa isa ka customer last the last features of branding is consistency a brand must be consistent. Consistency business make numerous premises on advert advertisements and consumer expect those premises. The more consistent your message messaging, the more consistent your branding, whether ma via words or designs bana. So sa hai kanang sa advertisement ng magpa advertise mo dara ah, kung unsa ang imong gi-promise dito ah, mo mundo ang gina expect sa isa ka tao, di ba? Sa isa ka consumer pag Mung feel na na, lain kayo mong pagka-advertise ko, ang mong pag-message, ana-ana. Of course, sila ganahan pala tara ang, ah, huwag, dapat kabalo po sila kung sa isa ka consumer na, ang sarang benefit ato na product, sila magbutbuo to palit, so lain po, di ba? So, dapat ang imong, dapat isang ka-brand is mas consistent. So, we have four types of advantages of branding. First is customer recognition. Having a strong brand builds customer recognition. 
consumers are likely to buy a product they recognize over those products that are unfamiliar to them. So, ang kanyang customer recognition ay kanyang recognize over atong unfam unfamiliar sila ha. So, kung ikaw consumer, mapalit na ka dito sa sikat na na mga brand. Kaya naman kayo, di ba? Feel mo na safe dito ang ilang mga product na ginahin mo. So, dito at ka mapalit sa na ilhan na ni mo or sikat na na mga products. Next is competitive edge in the market. The brand differentiates every business in the marketplace. When customers recognize the business, it gains a competitive edge over other business. So, lahi man jud di ba o brand ang every business sa marketplace. Pag ma-recognize na, pag ma -recognize na ang isa ka, isa ka business ni mo, of course, magayin na o magayin na o ka ng competitive good sa lain sa lain business na dapat dapat na maabot putong na ang sama na recognize na sa isa ka isa ka product sa isa ka business di ba mag mag competitive sila sa isa ka kung na sila ano ba na sila ay laban sa isa ka market ana ana next is easy introduction of new products New products are easy to introduce if the business has a strong brand and loyal customers. It is easier and less expensive to, intro to introduce new products in the market because the, cost the customers are often interested in the product of the business. So, dali rajud ma introduce ang mga bago guna products sa inyong business if kanang imong brand is strong o kanang imong mga customers are loyal. So, dali rajud ma ma-introduce sa marketplace ang kanang bagong pagawa sa'yo sa imo na products. Kay, of course, recognizable naman ang imong business, ang imong mga products. So, it is easier and less expensive to introduce. So, less expensive. Kay, ang uban kay, di ba? Ang uban kay, mag, ano pa, mag-advertise pa. Ikaw kung, ma, para sa sa, ano, iPhone, Apple, kanang iPhone 12 ron, di ba, hindi mag, mag sila naga-advertise good Maano da yun na, may handa ni mo na sikat ang isa ka, isa ka business kung pagawas pa lang, wala na nag, nag ano ng mga customers. Mana. The last one is enhance credibility and ease of purchase. Credibility has a direct connection to customers' ease of purchase because the customer will buy products that they like, know, and trust. Having a well-known brand enhances the credibility of the business, industry, and market marketplace as a whole. As the business builds their credibility, they also build recognition. So, mm, di ba? Ang kanang credibility, pag ang isa ka customer is kanang nana sila tara sa imong product, kanang kabalo na sila kung saan imong product, o of course, kanang naganahan na, sila hang, sa, naganahan na sila sa imong product, or nana sila benefit ato ba? Nara sila ease of purchase ana na product. Nga mag pag mabuild na sa isa ka business ang credibility. Mabuild pud dara ang recognition sa isa ka business. So, we are now in types of brand name. First is descriptive. Descriptive brand names readily convey the products or services offered by the business. There's hardly any room for creativity in a brand name since the name is complete and simple. Ang kaning descriptive brand name, ano mga brand name na ang company na naghatag or kanang brand name na mga simple na kaayo hindi na kayo wala na tagan etos good mga tawag sa descriptive brand name and then next is exocative brand name exocative brand names are very creative singular words that act as a powerful different different shade or in the industry they work by imagery and meaning back to the brand ang kanyang exocative is creative food kayo ng exocative brand name opposite sila sa descriptive na simple Example ano yung exocative is para sa Amazon. Di ba ang Amazon kay Amazon na river. Di ba? The world's largest river. Pag Amazon na app, mo po na ang the world's biggest selection of book. So, exocative is ka ng na ay meaning nito behind sa behind ato na brand. So, creative kayo siya, di ba? And then, next example is Nike. Nike na mga shoes. Nike na brand. Ang meaning day sa Nike in Greek mythology is Greek goddess of victory. So, di ba ang symbol sa Nike is itong check. So, na siya deep meaning. Ito man ang executive brand names. Next is invented brand names. Invented brand names are not only descriptive but also articulate and has creative names with attitude for a brand. Invented, invented names can be highly unique. 
So, ang kanyang invent invented names are unique siya. Express any example is kanang Kodak, Verixon, and Exxon. So, mga, mga unique siya na mga brand names. Next is lexical. Lexical brand names have a combination of compound words, spelling, alliteration, and foreign words. Ang kanyang lexical is kanang lexical brand names is kanang ang mga brand name good kay example ana is Dunkin Donut. Tiba mabantay niyo sa Dunkin Donut is D U N K I N and then D O N U T S. So na ay mga alliteration. Tiba na ay pagtong Dunkin D U N K I N and then na ay apostrophe sa taas. Gamitan siya alliteration. O kanang lexical is kanang intention gud ang pag misspelling. Intention ana. So muna ang lexical brand names. Next is acronym. This type of brand is an acronym of the entire name of the business which might be difficult to pronounce. Acronym brand names are just shorthand version of descriptive name. So, ang kaning acronym daw is more shag shorthand version. So, shorthand version ni descriptive brand name. Kaning acronym. Example, ang acronym, acronym is Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC. Ang kaning ano sa nanong gi acronym ni gi, gi, gi acronym ni Kentucky Fried Chicken is kanang ang fried chicken man good kay dili man di ba ang fried chicken dili man kay siya dili siya healthy so mo tong gi, gi acronym siya next is geographical the brand name includes the geography or ter territory in which the business operates or has given birth to them so ang kaning geographical is ang kaning mga tag ang kaning lagi anong kaning lagi mo sa business is Asa hay kung ilang ipangalan pod kung asa sila kipanganak or asa sila puyo ana ana example ana is American Express and New York Life so man ang geographical then the last one is founder brand names brand names are also associated with the names of their founders ang kaning founder is kana ang kana kung ang tag iya is ang pangalan sa ilang brand is Nasunod po sa pangalan nila. Example, ana is si Henry Ford. Diba? Henry Ford, Ford Cars. Ford Cars. So, yan ang isunod sa iyang pangalan. And Disney. Si Disney, diba katugong Walt Disney? Sa mga ito. Ilan ang isunod, sinunod, isunod silang pangalan ng ilang business. So, ara, ang example sa brand names. Brand elements are trademark devices that serve to identify and differentiate the brand from competitors. So, ara ang brand elements. So, we have a brand name. A brand name is a trading name given by the manufacturer or organization to a particular product or service. So, di ba kabalo naman taon sa ang brand name? Plus, aning example sa brand name is Samsung, Unilever, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So, muna ang mga brand name. Next is brand logo. It is a visual trademark that identifies the brand with, it, with its design and contains stylized letters representing the, lit, the literal name of the product. So, there are examples sa logo is soft drink. So, muna siya. Example, kato kung Macdo. Ang logo sa Macdo is diba M. So, muna example sa brand logo. Next is brand symbol. Symbols are powerful elements of the brand that extend beyond the logo and contains a sign mark or picture representing the brand. So, ang brand symbol, mo powerful brand elements. So, muna siya, Phoenix. Example, example sa brand symbol. Next is brand character. Brand character is a special type of brand element that use human or real life character. Masi, tiba ang brand character, example, si Jollibee. Si jo and the last one is brand slogan. The slogan is a short phrase that is used to communicate descript descriptive information about the brand. And brand slogan is kanang below sa kung um, saan ano na sa lahang brand. Just like Nike, just do it. And these are the examples of the brand slogan. Unit 9, Lesson 2, Strategy in Choosing a Brand Name Introduction, branding is one of the strategy in, in business. An effective branding strategy creates a unique identity that separates the business from the competition. This strategy includes a working plan for a achieving the vision of the business through the use of an effective branding for the product or ser serving service being offered. This, this makes branding strategy an important part of the decision-making process in business. 
things to discuss. Identify the criteria for choosing a brand name. Understand the different branding strategy that can be used for the purpose business. What is brand strategy? Brand strategy is a plan com composed of long-term goals that are achieved through the development of a successful brand, a well-defined and imp implanted implanted brand strategy affects the business and is directly connected to the customer needs and emotions so halimbawa ani kay Jollibee then kung gusto nimo ikuan ang mga pra, mga product nimo or para ma feel at home sila sa pagkaon sa imong product dapat i-introduce jud dimo maayo og ipakita jud kung unsay lami sa pagkaon or nyanong lami jud siya ang pagkaon nimong gina baligya sa customer Umbrella, so we have the types of branding strategy. First is umbrella branding. Umbrella, umbrella branding is a strategy that involves naming related products under the same brand name of the business. So, example, Apple. So, kung mag brand untahe kay, o sige nang kwan, Apple Store, di ba kay, kung mag, ang meaning sa umbrella branding kay, untahe, di ba ang Apple Store kay na, Apple Phone. Apple, Apple MacBook, Apple tab tablet, iPad, Apple iPad, di ba na siya Apple na kabutang. Next, attitude planning. A, st a strategy where a business choosing to represent a feeling that does not have a direct connection to the product. Example, Nike. Uh, ang ikalang nakuan ni kay kuan siya. Kanang lahi ay iyahong kuan siya ang brand ni lahi pangalan pero ang name sa mga product kay lahi-lahi siya. Nana na ako, mauro to akong nasabtan sa attitude branding. Individual, individual branding, a strategy in which a product is given brand names that are newly created and are not connected to the names of existing existing brand offered by the business. Example, Coca-Cola. So, individual branding daw, okay, same sa kung giingon ganun na na, ang tahay, kalang na kay, imong branding kay, kuan, kalang na kay product na, kuan, kalang duha-duha, diba, shampoo, ang isa kay, tut, kalang sabun, si, kuan, same sila sa tagi iya sa product, pero lahi ang iyahang name sa mga product niya. No brand branding. No brand branding is a strategy that Features, features a product that is simply and generic in design. This also means sp spending little on advertisement. Sa pumuji. So, no brand branding daw kay murag kanang nag focus lang siya sa advertisement kay kasagaran dyan sa uban kay wala siya mga wala siya brand pero ang kuan niya sa kasagaran kay nag focus siya sa advertising. Mawa na kuna sabtan dyan sa no brand branding. Brand extension. Brand extensions occurs when one of the brands ventures into a new market. The brand name brings its own identity to the product mix. So, ang um, brand extension daw, okay? Worship ka nang ang name ang nagapadala siya ha. Kung tayo ang name niya kay sample ka ni. Sample ka ni. So, ang name ana niya kay tahay ka ng mga shampoo or sabon Brag, ang name ra ang nagapa kita si Hag kanang pakita si Hag on identity kung giyon sa siyag mga kung nila yung sa siya paghimo or tinuod ba na mute ka or ni shine mo buhok ana private levels also known as a store brand have become popular in supermarket these are cost effect effective brand made to complete with larger related so ang kanyang private Labels kay kuan siya. Naaroon siya makita sa mga supermarkets. Sa mga SM, ana, ang inana kay, kuan mo siya. Example din kay SM Bonus Brand. Crowdsourcing, a strategy in which branding is outsourced to the, pro to the public and allows customer to be involved in the naming process and effective drives up personal interest in the product. Example, Oreo. So, kanay crowdsourcing daw kay mao daw na siya ang kanang ginakabuangan sa mga tao or kanang ginapangita nila. Example kanang Oreo di ba famous man jud kay na mao na siya ang dali mahurot na product. 
criteria for choosing a brand name. Distinctive. The brand name should not closely be assorted with other product. Word association. The brand name should have a present meaning. Legal requirements. The brand name should not be inferring on another trademarks or entries. Memorability. The brand name should be easily remembered. Pronounceability. The brand name should be easily pronounced. Limitation. The brand name should not be too limiting to be used for expansion. Successful brand building process. Determine the target's audience. When building a brand, an interpreter was identify the target audience or the market the brand will create to. Define the brand mis mission. Define the brand values you wish to convert to the audience and the mission which basically depicts the purpose of the brand existence. Research competition. Analyze the competition. Find out what the competitors are, are offering to the customers. Determine brand guidelines. The brand guidelines set as specific rules on how the business should interact with the audience. Market the brand. Prepare a strategy to market the brand. Apply the branding in every place of communication. What is stra strategy branding? An effect branding creates a unique identity that separates the business from the competition. This, this branding includes a working plan for achieving the vision of the business through the use of an effective branding for the product or service being forested. This makes Branding strategy, an important part of the decision-making process in business. So, ang, stra ang strategy, branding-making daw kay mauta ng kasagaran ang ginakuan sa mga products or yung products untahay. Example, Jollibee. Jollibee. So, Jollibee, kung tahay ka ng tahay, chicken joy, then mag, kung, kung mag-offer ka ka ng mga business or products ni mo, dapat ang mga tao ganahan sa product ni mo or ma-feel at home sila sa pagkaon sa product ni mo. Now, let's proceed the types of branding. First, individual branding. Individual branding is a marketing strategy in which every product a company sells has its own unit brand name. The policy helps establish a new unique image and identity. It also helps make a brand occupy a dis disrupt position relative to rival brands. So, ang individual tao kay, for example, Jollibee. Diba? In the name of Jollibee, kay, kung individual branding daw kay, Diba, ang Jollibee lain kayo, Jollibee Rappermenti ang minatawag sa pagkaon, so, ang dahay. Chicken joys, fries, inana, diba, dapat naman siya, kuan, Jolly Spaghetti, diba, na siya kuan. So, yung product kay na ato siya lahig, names ng yung pagkaon, dili lang Jollibee Rappermenti. In individual branding, we have advantage and disadvantage. Ang disadvantage daw, kay maodo ng ang dahay kung na ay kay company, then, dagan kayo na yung mong kuan na kuan ko ng mga product dahil na kay sabon pang laba then na apadri sabon pa humot pang ligo then kuan saka sa kadaghan sa mong product mura ma exhaust exhausting ka pero magunaw na pa ka dito sa isa ka product ni mo then magunaw pa ka sa isang product ni mo kung mas low ang kuan mas low ang sabon pang humot magunaw na na sa kaglain na product para mo balik ang business like for example kung kung kuan duha ka product imong ginabaligya ang tahi kuan kanang shampoo then ang isa kay sabon then ang ni ang isikatra kay ang shampoo then ang sabon nimo kay wala so magunaw na na sa ko bago ana ang isa pud ka disadvantage ana sa branding kay kuan gasto gasto ang kuan pag maghimo og bagong product advantage advantage is each individual brand can serve customer differently. Diba? Kung kuan. For example, ikaw ang manager, then, yung mong mga product kay daghan kayo. For example, toothpaste, kanang dulaan pang bata, kanang mga pang sabon pang pagwapa, diba? Dali lang makuha ang mga 
dali ra nimo makuha ang touch sa customer kay ang goal man jud ana kay makuha ang mga marketing or mga tao it's allow the company to offer a wider range of products of different different quality so pwede ra jud kang mag kuan mag endorse another product para mo dako imong kita or dali ra nimo makuha ang mga marketing or customer online branding also known as internet branding helps business to position them themselves as a part of the online marketing place this type of branding includes a company's website so social media platforms blogs and other online connection example online seller so diba kasagaran kay nagagamit na sila website para makuanil ang mga customer then ang kung magpalit ang customer kay i-deliver lang baya nila so ana na siya ang online branding this is the one of the most popular branding types product branding Focus on making a single product distract and recognizable. Symbol or design are an essential part of product branding to help your customer identify your product easily. For example, soft drinks, energy drinks, pagkaon, o uban pa na naay mga symbol, energy drink na monster bato, o di ba na ashe koan, tatak na letter N, para adalit na ninyo ma-recognize na maodyo na drink ang inyong ginapangita. Personal branding. Personal branding describes branding that is used for an individual person instead of branding for a whole business. This type of branding is often used to establish a person character, personality, or work as a brand. For example, kung unsay na na kung unsay na asay mo hanawala sa uban tao, mao na ang pag brand mo say mo ang self. We have a uh, for again brand protection and trademark. Brand protection is the manner of defending the intellectual property of the business and their associated brands against abuse. And brand abuse is a term used to cover the malicious activity of exploiting an existing brand to gain a specific benefits. Benefits or the damaged brand reputation. A trademark is a recognizable word, symbol, or phrase that legally differentiates the product from all other products of its kind. And last, a trademark is a right granted by the state and serves as protection for the invest investment in a brand. It provides the owner with an exclusive right to prevent others from using its brand in an identical way. But also, but also from creating confusion by using a mark that is similar or simply, simply, or simply exploiting its reputation. And now, there are four categories of trademarks. We have fanciful or arbitrary, suggestive, descriptive, and generic. And now, trademark is a symbol used to identify items of intellectual property, the symbol are commonly used for this purpose. Purpose of trademark symbol is, we have three again, three, three trademark symbol. Regist registered trademark symbol and service mark symbol and trademark symbol. Registered trademark symbol, this may only be used by the owner of a mark after it has been registered with the relevant National Intellectual Property Office. And service mark symbol, used to denote ownership of an unregistered service. And last, trademark symbol, used to denote owner of an unregistered product. We have, ta we have a types of trademark. Number one, a word or design mark is used by an entity, entity for the purpose of distinguishing wares or services manufactured, sold, leased, hired, or performed by others. And number two, a certification mark is used for the purpose of distinguishing wares or services that are of a defined standard with respect to a or one the character or quality of the wares or conditions under which the wares have been proceed or the services performed three or c 
the class of person by whom the wares have been pr produced or the services performed. And four, or D, the area within which the wares have been pr produced or the services performed from wares or services that are not of defined standard. Brand Protection and Trademark Brand protection. Brand protection is the manner of defending the intellectual property of the business, businesses and their associated brands against abuse. It is done to protect not only the loss of sales, the profit, but also the organization, image, reputation, and overall value. Brand abuse. Brand abuse is a term used to cover and malicious activity of exploiting an existing brand to gain specific benefits or to damage brand repo. That is definition. Forms of brand abuse. Counterfe counterfeiting. A counterfeit product Im imitates the product from an authentic brand made unofficially by external sources. Rogue business. Rogue websites are sites created for malicious intent. Next is cop copyright piracy. Copyright piracy is the illegal activity of copying artistic, literary, and scientific words, works. Patent theft Happen, happens when another party uses or sells a patented product without the permission of a patent. Social media impersonation. impersonation. Happens when an unofficially Unofficial third party creates social media accounts imitating genuine brands. Tips of brand abuse. The most troublesome from for brands is counterfeiting. However, however, every business needs to remain vigilant against any type of brand of brand abuse. Next is protecting the brand. Trademark the the brand. Protect the brand by registering a trademark for the brand logo, design, slogan, and any words associated with the brand. Next is link the brand to attributes. The brand can be link linked to any attributional source from names and dates to locations and style. Next is include an intellectual property close, close in terms and conditions. The terms and condition agreement will protect the intellectual property of the product in writing against abuses and unruly user. Next is stay vigilant. It is important to stay vigilant and monitor competitors for potential thievery. Next is TM. What is a trademark? A trademark is a requisite recognizable words, symbol, or phrase that legally differentiates the product from all other products of its kind. It is used to distinguish and set apart the business or organization from others. Importance of Trademark Legal Protection for Business Protection against other who might try to copy and image imitate his product communication with the target market easier for the target market to remember the products hence it enables them to communicate next is customers will feel will feel more protected and valued a trademark is also a means of protecting the customers and a way to show value for them next is the business or product name will be better remembered Having a trademark is also a mean of effective advice, advice, advertising. Next is Philippine Trademark Registration. A trademark protects the brand identity of the business in the marketplace. The registration of a trademark gives the business owner the right to prevent others from using or exploiting the mark in any way. Next is Step in the Registration of Trademark. Feeling of an implication. Two is search and examination. Three, pub publication in Intellectual Property Office of Philippines, IPO Gazette. 
Number four, registration process. It's open.